Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Welcome back to Rebel News. 2021 has been a crazy year. From lockdowns to masks to anti-lockdown protests, Fight the Fines has helped over 2,000 people by now, and have you many reported from the tyranny of Australia. I hear giving away their guns is working out well for them. And the Rebel team grew massively as well this year. In this top 10, you'll see new reporters like Lewis Brackpool in the UK, Sid Fizzard in Calgary, and yes, the Avi Mini, that brilliant bastard. 2021 marks the year of YouTube trying to kick us off for good, which of course gave birth to Rumble.com. Joe Biden being the lowest rated president of all time, and even vaccine passports made an unexpected appearance in a move many are calling well insane. Of course, we couldn't do it without the viewers, all of you who watch and donate to our legal battles and campaigns. Now, all of the links to these videos will be available in the description, of course. And if you like this video, please share and consider donating at rebelnews.com. Let's get this countdown started with just a real Menzies classic. If I were to tell you that you would watch nearly 30 minutes of a man arguing in the LCBO about not getting his proper amount of liquor bottles, you'd only have to wonder if it was a David Menzies video. Oh, can you get the bottle of uh, Glenn Farkless uh, 105? We're not authorized to tape in the store. Right, and I'll be on my way as soon as you give me the with bottle. Your customer complaint when your cameraman no, leaves the store. It's being You're dealt with. the authorities. Okay, who are the authorities? You can stay away. The police, have you... By the way, you have three people, Ashley. You have three people. We have a potential super spreader event here at the LCBO. It clearly says two. Do you know you were the third person in that office, ma'am? You're breaking your own rules. It says only two can be in here, Ashley. And we have three. <laughs> what about, sir? Can you take care of this uh, overcrowding in the uh, LCBO office? Uh, how come there were three people in there, ma'am? It says only two are allowed. Just a great use of police resources on that one, wouldn't you say? Poor David Menzies. The number nine entry on this list is actually yours truly. I spoke to Torontonians and asked them if they would take off their mask when the government says it's okay. Should I be surprised when almost none of them said yes? Check out how long this young lady said she'd keep her mask on for. I, like, I don't care. I just think everyone can do whatever the hell they want, so. Um, so you'd be okay with people not wearing it inside the... Not much of an opinion on that. If the law says wear it, wear, just wear it. Um, if there's no law, I think that's a personal preference. Okay, how about yourself? Would you keep wearing it inside even if you didn't have to? Um, I think I probably would, uh, just because I don't know where everyone's been. I don't know if everyone's been vaccinated. Will you stop wearing a mask if the government says no? you don't need to wear a mask? No, I'm going to wear a mask. You are? Yeah, I'm going to wear a mask for like maybe two years. How many years, sorry? Two years. Is that a lot of that like social pressure or do you think it's a science-based thing? Why, why are you choosing this? Um, I don't know. I just feel uncomfortable, you know? I just feel uncomfortable. I don't think like COVID is going to go away for like, like forever. So I think COVID is going to be there forever. So I don't want to get sick. And she never took off the mask again. Unbelievable. Coming in at number eight is the debut of Lewis Brackpool, Rebel UK reporter. His report from central London flew off the shelves and made him an instant hint in the land of terrible food and that odd different type of film where you can tell it wasn't filmed in North America. Yeah, that place. This is Lewis Brackpool reporting here for Rebel News and we're standing on London Bridge and we're about to be hit by police, Tom, so we got to keep moving. So on the 16th of September, protesters gathered together in central London to march against the government's plan to ignore ignore the advice of Britain's vaccine experts, the JCVI, and to continue with their quest on vaccinating 12 to 15 year old children. Not only this, but Boris's U-turn on the vaccine passports, which is likely to be implemented for the winter COVID plan. Whilst the overwhelming majority of protesters were completely peaceful and just shared concerns as normal parents would. And quite a number of people recognised Rebel News, which was great. <laughs> You follow me? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, lovely to meet you. I do. Yeah. Well, that's brilliant. Nice one. I think we all follow Rebel News, right? Oh, really? Oh, God, yeah. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Oh, we like to hear that. That's great. However, there were a few that were very sceptical of me and thought I was mainstream media news because of how I dressed. I thought you were calling me scum media oh, not then. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. 
Maybe later on. <laughs> yeah, oh, we saw that from the Pfizer vaccine. Six months. Yeah, but you it's don't, terrible. You don't report it, do you? Well, Rebel you, News. Why did you not report it? Well, it's just come out yesterday. I'd only been to two other anti-lockdown, anti-vaccine mandate protests, and this one done the rounds <laughs> is a uh, truth be told. And this was my second video with Rebel News as well. I found that a lot of people were frustrated, angry, but really welcoming at the same time to a reporter actually reporting there. There was a guy in particular who got a little bit aggressive at the start and he had some sort of weird smelly sling on. <laughs> but by the end of the day, he realised that I was actually on his side. And ever since reporting on that particular protest, many people have gotten in contact to say thank you, which inevitably led people seeing my content circulating into this movement. And now every time that I go to these protests, people shake my hand and say hello, which is crazy. And if Andrew is sitting there wearing a football shirt or something and trying to look British, don't take any notice of him. He's never watched football in his life. There's nothing I enjoy more than giving Lewis the business about Downton Abbey, S Club 7, and basically anything The Simpsons has ever said about the English people. Coming in at the number seven spot is the always colorful Chris Skye. It was a bare year for the anti-lockdown activist. He was thrown out of grocery stores, police standoffs happened, he yelled at his followers and his crew, Rob Carbone set him up with the feds. He even found time to storm out of an interview with David the Menzoid Menzies and make many wild and also f false claims, frankly, about Rebel News. But I love him just the same, so he's in this countdown. Here's Chris Guy getting kicked out of an airport, as reported by David Menzies. I'm fine by the rules of everybody else. What do you mean? Of course I am. No, you're not. Says who? Everybody else has a mask on. But I already told you, like, the fourth time now that right. I have a medical exemption. That's we know why I this. asked you to leave. You already said, why would right. you ask me to leave? That's because I have, why would you ask that's me to leave? You would ask me to leave because I have a medical exemption? That's completely discriminatory. So I have no idea what you're still doing here, what you're still talking to me. It must mean that you're really interested in me or something. You know what? I'm not going to waste my time with you anymore. Uh, I didn't think so. It's pointless. Uh, we were having a nice, educating conversation. I'd like to shake your hand and say, have a good night. If you're, if I'm, if I don't want to approach you more than six feet if you're going to get upset about it, but otherwise, I'd be happy to come and shake your hand and say, good night, officer. Yeah. Fair enough. I have no problem, nothing wrong with police. I respect the law enforcement. I also respect the law. You, you respect law enforcement? Hundred percent. I back the. I work with more police officers than you can imagine. Every time. The way you just spoke to me. Well, that's because of how you interacted with me first. If you saw the last time I was here, the police officers and me were very friendly. And guess what? They all shook my hand, and I tried to shake your hand. So who's really at? Who's really the one that caused this interaction? You came here in an intimidating fashion. I was still courteous and respectful and interacted with you. And I tried to end it on a positive note by shaking your hand, introducing myself. Okay, so I, I how I was intimidated. Because so you figure that out. Because you told what me to. Because you told me to leave and wait outside. What am I? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Come on, man. One day there's going to be a movie about Chris. The only question I have is who plays him? The Rock, DiCaprio. Let me know in the comments, please. Rob Schneider. <laughs> that brings us to the Avi Amini for number six, or that is Avi's bodyguard. At a protest in Australia, Avi's gigantic security was harassed and arrested by police for doing his job, I guess. Fast forward, and it's no wonder Aussie authorities are trying to change the law to prevent people from having security like this at protests. Take a look. They back down. Suddenly there is a small group left, and police are taking them down violently. Uh, no, no, he's security. He's security. Hey, he's our security, sir. He's our security. I'm at work. He's our security. He's our security. He's our security. What? He's our security. That's our. He's working with us. He's working with us. He's working with us. You've arrested our security. You've arrested our security. We're not going to tolerate that. We're not going to tolerate that. That's our guy. Come around here. Come around the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you've taken our security. You've taken our security. So, come, come back. They've taken our security. Oh, RV. <laughs> Australia should literally be thanking him, not just for his Hawaiian shirts, 
but for fighting for freedom every single day. Now, our number five video includes the now famous pastor Arter Pawlowski, the clip heard around the world, I call it, of him yelling at health officials really took him to the stratosphere. But one of our biggest videos of the year was the really over-the-top arrest of the pastor in the middle of the highway. It made no sense. Check it out. Hello friends, this is Pastor Art Poloski. If you're watching this video, that means they have successfully arrested me and I am in jail. If you would like to support me, if you would like to support Rebel News and the legal team that is trying their best to get me out of this trouble, please go to safearthur.com. Please donate, please help. Help me, help my family, help my wife and my children to get me out of this horrible, illegal situation, please go to savearthur.com and get me out of this if you can. Imagine being an immigrant who lived through communism in Poland only to come to a country you thought was free and be arrested for holding church services. But I guess that's 2021 in a nutshell. Number four comes courtesy of our resident American, Canadian, Jewish, gun-toting reporter, Yakov Pollock. Now, as I mentioned, he is in fact Jewish, which which normally wouldn't matter, but to Montreal police, oh, it really matters. During the curfew in Montreal, Quebec, yes, that was supposed to stop COVID somehow, Montreal police made it their mission to stop Jewish people from gathering. In this clip, you'll see Montreal cops doing what they do best, shining lights in people's faces, intimidating media members, and of course, calling our reporter Media Jewif, which translate to Jew Media. Yes, actually, this happened. Yeah, what's going on here? Oh, come on, the light is bright. What's going on here? Sir, what are you doing here? I'm filming. Okay, so do you have a piece of ID with you? Yes. Do you have a piece of ID with you? Uh, yeah, I'm, in, I'm media. Yeah, we'll take a piece of ID with you, sir. Sure. Yeah, so you okay. Go on the sidewalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cannot be on the street. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the middle of moving. You're talking to me. Can you not shine at it? I don't know who you are. No? I also don't know who you are. I'm Constable Robert 6473. Okay. And who are you? I'm giving you my papers, no problem, just... Okay. What? Who are you, sir? I'm with Rebel News, I'm not Media Jewif. Who are you? What's your name? And badge number. Can you give me your name and badge number? Can you give me your name and badge number? You're supposed to give it to me. I hate to do the whole what if thing, but imagine if we just changed some of the verbs and adjectives here. That would be an international story probably. It is what it is. In other forms of overreach, we go to Hamilton, Ontario for number three. If you had get fined for shaking hands written down on your scorecard for 2021 ridiculousness, well guess what? You get the grand prize for this video. How's it going man? Up for deeper city of Hamilton bylaw. I have you here in violation of the Reopening of Ontario Act, yep. gathering with a crowd of more than five people. So that's a pre-written ticket again, just for the record? I had the uh, ticket made up inside when I saw you out here. So what were they doing exactly when I was talking to one of the protesters I saw here? You walking around, getting within three meters. Oh, that's how it is. So if I just talk to someone, that's within two meters? I also watch you shaking their hands. Oh, that's, that's oh, I guess I'm breaking oh. a law there. Okay, you got me there. So Great. this is the ticket, provincial offense notice, Yeah. and the Reopening of Ontario Act. For coming and gathering with more than five people. Thank you. Uh, that day in particular, it was like it was a couple weeks in. I was expecting it. I knew the position where I was going to be. I knew every single time where they would come out, and I didn't expect the officers to come out. But I knew bylaw would come out, and that's the reason why I was there was that they would spend an absurd amount of bylaw resources and taxpaying money. And I didn't expect the ticket, but he came up to me. He looked me right in the eye and detained me, and said, "You know, are you Efron Monsanto?" And he had a pre-written ticket for me. The week before, I had an 880 fine for, you know, for talking with the same people. And that was handed by an officer. This time, explicitly said for shaking hands with one of the protesters. And which, you know, it's hard to believe. And it went viral because people were clowning us Canadians for allowing this to happen in our country. Pay your ticket, I demand it. Coming in at number two on the list is more Australian tomfoolery. This time, Avi himself is reporting on a protest when a bunch of very tough, high testosterone men start heckling him. 
What follows is possibly the worst verbal and somewhat physical embarrassments of the year. I love this video. I think it's my favorite on the list. Check it out. Why, why is your missus screaming out if she doesn't? She looks like she wants attention. Why, why, why are you so close to me? The social distancing. What did you just call her? What did you just call her? What did you call her? Why did you call her? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Get the fuck out of here, you fucking Touch me. Get back. What are you going to fucking do? Don't touch. I won't touch you, Wayne. I'm standing in the public like you. Stay back. Stay back. Mate, mate, you raise the hand. You raise the hand. Stay back. You raise your hand. Touch me again, you fucking Stay back out of our space. Get the fuck out of my space, you fucking piece of shit. Let's just enjoy the night. You fucking cunt. What? Oh, man, let's go. Let's go. Look at you. You fucking right wing cunts. You fucking happy? This is what you say that's a good thing to do? <laughs> Look at you. You're gonna pick on the girl. You're gonna I pick on her. I pick whatever I want, right. you fucking piece of shit. Alright, bro. What do you do? Look at me. You like, you, like, you like to pick fights. What did you even come here for? I'm what a, did you I'm come a, here I'm for? I'm interviewing, there's a protest, What are you mate? interviewing what me are you for? doing here? What am I doing? I'm fucking having dinner here, yeah, you fucking idiot. Yeah, she was screaming idiot. at me, mate. Really? Does that, did at... anyone want to talk to you at all? Your did anyone want to talk me. to you at all? Oh, mate, you're so did anyone want the to virus, talk to you? The virus, the virus. Shut the fuck up. Stand back. A truly beautiful thing to watch, wasn't it? Now, the number one video for this year on Rebel News Speaks for Itself. Rebel News went to Montreal to cover anti-lockdown protests and police harassment, only to find its own reporters being raided, attacked, searched, and arrested. This is Canada now. Several lawsuits and some crazy footage later, here is the number one video for 2021. Touch him! He, 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 did you touch him? Why did you, why did you touch him? Because he was getting... No, we no, no, he drove into me. He drove into me. Are you, are you hiding your name? Keep your distance. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Here are the thugs! Here are the thugs! Here come the thugs! Shame! 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 Send fucking 10 bucks, 10 bucks for all in front of the fucking car pushing. With 2021 in the books, we will take a turn for the worse in 2022, or will we get better? Will we get our own COVID camps? I can't wait for that. But seriously, thanks for all of you who watch and donate and share and comment and like and subscribe. We're going to leave you with some honorable mentions now. And Tifa, a naked comedian, and of course, who can forget the federal debates where the Prime Minister himself admitted that he loved to watch Rebel News. I'm Justin Trudeau's favorite reporter. Who knew? Happy New Year, everyone. Thanks for 2021, and we look forward to 2022. My name is Ben Bankus, and I am a pro-masker. I wear the mask all the time. When I'm in the shower. When I brush my teeth. When I drive. We talked about Canada's last wrongs, the past things they haven't done right. When will you speak out about the 20 vandalized churches? They're burning churches and vandalizing them, and you're not calling it a hate crime. Sir, will you acknowledge persecu religious persecution of Abrahamic faiths in Canada? Antifa has showed up blaring music, shoving people, violating the peaceful assembly.
assembly that is taking place, and today the police have not intervened. <laughs> fully vaccinated you shouldn't be able to do things without masks first of all and second of all like just to not like just so the spread doesn't happen again if you're not fully vaccinated you shouldn't be able to like go to concerts and stuff it also help people want to get vaccinated if you if they do that but it seems like after that scathing report that just came out your department hasn't done a great job this is where she decides to finally look me in the eye she won't answer a question but she's gonna ask one you know what, I've got a really important question. Are you guys going to stop calling me Climate Barbie? Because it's uh, super... I've never called you that. Aurez-vous l'obligeance de répondre à ma question en tant que premier ministre ou allez-vous encore diaboliser mon média? J'ai partagé ma perspective sur ton organisation uh, hier soir. J'ai plus rien à dire. Thanks for watching the best videos of the year. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com slash donate if you want to donate to any of our causes.